Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your April the 7th just for today in a meditation. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. The meditation is entitled The Value of the Past. This firsthand experience in all phases of illness and recovery is of unparalleled therapeutic value. We are here to share it freely with any addict who wants to recover. That comes from the basic text, page 10. Most of us came into the program with some serious regrets. We had never finished high school and we had missed going to college. We had destroyed friendships and marriages. We had lost jobs and we knew that we couldn't change any of it. We may have thought that we'd always be regretful and simply have to find a way to live with our regrets. On the contrary, we find that our past represents an untapped gold mine. The first time we are called on to share it with a struggling newcomer. As we listen to someone share their fifth step with us, we can give a special form of comfort that no one else could provide our own experience. We've done the same things. We have the same feelings of shame and remorse. We suffered in the ways only an addict can suffer. We can relate and so can they. Our past is valuable. In fact, priceless because we can use all of it to help the addict who still suffers. Our higher power can work through us when we share our past. That possibility is why we are here and its fulfillment is the most important goal we have to accomplish. Just for today, I no longer regret my past because with it, I can share with other addicts, perhaps averting the pain or even death of another. My name is Mighty Stream. Let's go ahead and take a moment of silence. If you're just joining us, let's take a moment of silence followed by the Wii version of Serenity Prayer. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. Powerful, isn't it, to think that the value of my past could benefit another individual. To think that there's anything that is worth salvaging, remembering, and sharing of all of that disaster, that beautiful disaster that was taking place in my life. To know that over the years, I've been able to kind of pull out the things uh, as needed. I don't revel in them. I don't glorify them. But to pull them out with one thing in mind, can I share it in a manner that is going to benefit this individual or not? And so many of us find that when we got here, we were overwhelmed with regrets. We were overwhelmed with remorse and sorrow and just that uncertainty about whether or not we would be able to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps again and make another goal of being clean again, another goal of recovery. Uh, there's there's people that, I don't know if anyone ever calls, calls them chronic relapsers, but they certainly call themselves chronic relapsers. And I'm amazed at the strength that it takes to come back to the rooms and start afresh. And maybe they get 60 days, 30 days and then they relapse and they come back and they start afresh. And maybe they get a week and they come back and start afresh. You know where that comes from? It comes from the inclusivity of our program, telling them to keep coming back no matter what. Either we mean it or we don't. And most people find that we absolutely mean it to keep coming back. And um, I was talking to someone that had recently relapsed and they gave up significant amounts of clean time. Um, years and years and years. And although they used to be able to say, relapse is not a part of my story, 
I was asking them about now that relapse is a part of your story, you have that much more to offer to the individual that is struggling with staying clean. That is something that you personally have experienced and you can share how that felt for you. You can identify and hopefully they can identify with you. So let's look at our past, not as that, you know, old bugaboos and afraid to take a look at it or never want to bring it up. No, we're not glorifying it when we use it in a manner to share our experience, strength and hope with the still suffering addict, but find the value in it and to be grateful for it. That's that's where we struggle, isn't it? Having gratitude for where we came from, what we passed through. But when you look at your recovery today and we say that we're grateful, I'm a grateful recovering addict. <laughs> you would never be that without the past. You would never be that without the past. Though in a spirit of gratitude, let's look at it in a way that our perspective of it has changed and we can look at it as something beautiful that we now own, own our own experience. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to. I will talk to you soon. Thank you.